it's Rose and I am back to show you one of my all-time favorite diamond paintings finished and that is a snake charmer this is number 240 in my inventory and I just finished it uh, yesterday and oh my god I love it so so much. Uh, I loved pretty much everything about this diamond painting. I loved the image, which is what, you know, attracted me to it. And so I bought it. Um, and then when I started working on it, absolutely everything about this diamond painting was just top notch. Uh, there was, you'll hear one comment that was less than, you know, perfect. But, um, largely speaking, this is, everything about this was one of my absolute favorite projects. Okay, so Snake Charmer, I uh, started it on the 16th of July and I finished it on August 22nd, which was yesterday. Uh, so I'm just going to take you out of the cradle and show you the diamond painting while I read through my notes. Just a second. We'll get in close on a lot of uh, the diamond painting and I'll also sort of reach back so that you can uh, see it from afar. So day one, I've kitted up and now I'm ready to start drilling. This is an experimental piece. So I'm starting with just a tiny four by four square to show viewers what I'm doing and to test whether it's actually doable. Oh, I'll tell you what the experiment was. So I had been looking forward to making a square diamond painting with all of the drills placed on the diagonal, like actually turning the drills a quarter turn so that they were in a diamond shape as opposed to like straight lines across. And yeah, unfortunately, that really did not work out at all. Uh, I started off with a really, really small area, just about, you know, one square inch. And I realized after about placing four or five drills that, yeah, not going to work at all. Gave it up. Okay, so now I get back to... Uh, my comments after I gave up on that experiment, which failed miserably. I sh if I would thought about it beforehand, I wouldn't have tried it. But I didn't think about it beforehand. I didn't think about it enough beforehand anyway. So um, luckily I didn't have to spend a lot of time on it before I realized this is never going to work. Okay, so I'm about 45 minutes into this diamond painting and I already know I'm going to hate working on it. Well, I was wrong about that. Um, so far already, I found serious legend errors. L and F. So let me just show you on the, uh, on here what L and F looks like. So F is 310. Can you see it? And L is 823. And now I'm going to insert a picture that I took of L and F. Uh, they are almost identical colors and they appear side by side a lot and are both white lettering on a darkish blue background. They are almost indistinguishable. Uh, so here, so anyway, so you've got those pictures there so you can see just how indistinguishable they are. And then later on, E and 9 are almost exactly the same color on the canvas, and both are white on a light background. They are terribly hard to distinguish. I had to pull out my magnifying glass to tell these two pairs, so the L and the F and the E and the 9, apart. Uh, that should not be necessary. And then uh, just by the way, L is 823, F is 310, E is 413 and 9 is 792. Um, and then later, 9 and question mark are also sometimes hard to tell apart, although not as bad as the other pairs. 
9 is 792, and question mark is 798. Both are very similar colors on the canvas, light, with white print. They should be black print, or at least one of them should be. If both F and 9 were black print, there wouldn't have been these problems. So this started off very rocky. I, I'd forgotten <laughs> just how much I hated this when I first started working on it. Uh, okay, let's jump to January or July tw uh, 20th now. So, oh, okay, there's more, more diatribe here. Five and six are almost identical and almost the same color. Five is 550 and six is 154. And I took another photo, which I will insert here. Uh, and then my next comment is the three ten the three tens are just about perfect, which is good because there was quite a bit of three ten in this. Uh, then July twenty first, which was day three of working on this, the drills of all colors are just about perfect, apart from those symbols that are hard to distinguish. I'm really liking working on this, so I started changing my view of this diamond painting at that point. Uh, July 30th, I have been working on another diamond painting since July 22nd, and I'm now getting back to this. I just love the way this is turning out so far. And then July 31st, yesterday I was pretty sure I knew why the symbols were so hard to read, and tonight I'm sure. The printer that they used to print the canvas was running out of ink. I think they were running out of black ink. The print is lighter and darker for the same symbols, so it was uneven saturation of color uh, on different parts of the canvas. Uh, August 1st, it was 4 a.m. I just finished most of her face, and it is gorgeous. Oh, I loved working on her face, and I just, I love her eyes, and I love her lips, and I love her cheekbones, and I, I just love everything about her face. Oh my god, so gorgeous. Anyway, I absolutely love the way this is turning out. I think it's one of my favorites of 2020, and maybe of all time. It's definitely one of my favorites of 2020, I can tell you that for nothing. August 10th, back to it, yay! I love how she's looking, and I love doing this diamond painting. So by now, uh, by August 10th, I had gotten used to the slight differences in color between the L's and the F's. Now I did have to pull out my magnifying glass fairly frequently um, because the L's and the F's, the, the 3 tenths and the 823s, were pretty much always together and they were kind of jumbled together. So. You know, I, I tried not to stress about it too much because I figured since they're jumbled together, it probably won't make a huge difference if I place some of them in the wrong place. Uh, but I did try very, very much. Um, okay, so August 11th, I finished the top 44 centimeters of this. So this is uh, 65 centimeters, so I finished up to about here, I think. Um, like this, this part here at the bottom that I'm showing you is the part that hadn't been done yet, so I'd done all the rest of it. Uh, okay. Now back, oh no, 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 no. Uh, so taking a break now to do some small ones, because I gotta kill my stash. And then August 18th, I finished 11 small projects since August 11th, and now I'm back to this charming woman uh, 21 and a half centimeters by 50 left to go. The th three tens are bothering me today. And I was, you know, kind of working in this area. Uh, the three tens are bothering me today. Some seem a bit too small and slightly imperfect. That was the first time I had any comments about the three tens other than the, the legend. Um, and then August 24th, I just finished her. And she is so beautiful. I love her. Overall, an almost perfect diamond painting experience. I guess this is like childbirth. You forget all the bad parts. 
uh, after you, you know, have your, your, your finished product in your arms. <laughs> uh, and there were lots of leftovers and almost no trash. So there you go. Uh, this one, I mean, it's interesting because when I was finishing up on this, I totally forgot all of the negative feelings that I had about, you know, working on it because the finished product was just, I just loved it. And as I worked on it, I loved the way each piece of it looked. Um, now, I will let you know that I know that many of you out there hate this diamond painting, hate this image, um, because you've told me that. <laughs> Some of my patrons have said, yeah, this is the one I hate the most. Well, one of my patrons told me, I hate, I really hate it. Uh, and I've had another patron tell me that she loves it so much that she went out and bought her own. Um, so for those of you out in YouTube land who enjoyed seeing the unboxing video and were moved to buy this diamond painting, if you have not yet worked on it, I can tell you, you might have some ups and downs with it, but if you loved the image based on, uh, you know, what you saw on the website or on my video, you will love the finished product. Um, now, again, this is a 50 by 65 and uh, would it be better if it was bigger? Yes. Would it be better if it was smaller? No, but would it be okay if it was smaller? I think so. And that's because there's essentially a single subject here, uh, and that is her face and her hand. Those are the main things that you're drawn to. The snake and the flowers, I think would render nicely, uh, even in a smaller size. And I say that because when you take a look at the the definition between the petals, for example, there's two and three petals uh, width in that, you know, break between petals and the shading between the petals. So if you were to go down a size, I think there would be like maybe one uh, line of petals, uh, of break between the petals, these, these darker drills in here, instead of there being like two or three side by side, there might be just one. Um, but I think that that would still look really, really nice. Um, I don't know. I'm looking forward to seeing somebody, somebody's picture when they finish their project. I have, uh, I have a patron who's working on this and, uh, and I've asked to see her finished product in the smaller size because I, I think it would look fantastic. But if you haven't bought it and you're considering it, just be aware that I did experience some problems with it uh, in terms of, you know, the, the definition on the canvas between different uh, colors. But I do think that that was not so much a charting problem as it was uh, a printer running out of ink problem. I think that's the, the case. Um, you know, I'll never know. But overall, I loved working with this. And I mean, take a look at how the drills fit together. They fit together really, really well. Um, you know, here there's little tiny gaps here, but that, I don't think that's a problem with the drills. That's not something I have any problem with because when you pull back, you don't see any of that. Same as, you know, in the, in the white on her face, there's tiny little gaps. But when you pull back, you don't see those gaps at all. And so if you were to hang this, which I might actually hang this. Uh, if you were to hang this, you would not notice any imperfections. Um, you know, based on the quality of the drills that I had. Okay, so speaking of the quality of the drills that I had and the leftovers, it is time to take a look at the spare drills and the uh, trash drills for this kit. So we'll just set the trash aside for now. And here we go. And this was, I can't remember how many colors. Let's see. This was 40 colors, which is a goodly number of colors, I think. And um, 
Here we go. I used a, I used a Craftmates lockable container to uh, work with my drills. Um, but last night before I started on my next project, I de-kitted and put them into uh, plastic Ziploc bags, which I got at the dollar store and they're really good quality. Uh, and some of them are ever moment ones. Anyway, um, I de-kitted because I wasn't sure if I would want to use the craft mates again real soon. And I don't know when I'm going to put these all away. Okay. So look at how many spares there were. There was a lot of this 554 that was used, uh, but look at how many spares. There's tons and tons and tons of spares of just about everything. I was never worried about running out of anything. Um, you know, where you see these many left over, um, this was actually, I think I only had one bag of those or maybe two bags of those. I can't remember. There was one of these colors that I had one bag of and one color that I had two bags of. Uh, and still there were tons, like for one of either this or I can't remember, maybe it was, uh, oh, I can't remember what the color was. Um, it was another red. Oh, here. Like they only needed seven drills and they sent me a, you know, full bag. So that was good. And uh, there was a lot of this 3756. This was, you know, her face and, and some of the, um, the uh, other flowers. I can't remember the name of the flower for now, but um, I love that color. It's just such a great color. And yeah, so I'm not going to show you all of the colors in detail. But, I mean, here's the leftover 310s. There's, there's like probably 12, 13, 1400 leftover 310s. Uh, so there were tons and tons and tons of them. And, uh, yeah, and lots, lots of the red leftover. I love the shading on the snake. Oh, my God, it was so beautiful. Lots of 823s leftover. I mean... Probably four or five hundred there. So yeah, tons, tons and tons and tons of leftovers. Um, and they were really good quality, which you will see when I show you the trash next. So just a second while I put this back in the bag, which I will keep this stuff in until I uh, store my drills away. Whoops, until I put my drills away in... Um, in my leftovers storage organizer. Okay, oh my goodness, so gorgeous, love it. I love it, I love it. Okay. So the first thing you're gonna notice when you take a look at this trash is That most of it is the dark colors most of it is black or that 823 and let me zoom way way in here um, that's not an 823 there I can't remember what color that was but there were a few colors that you know had less than perfect drills uh, but very few colors had less than perfect drills with the three tens um, often the problem that I had was either a little bit of tab but that's not very many with tabs, considering the size of this diamond painting. Most of the drills were perfect. Um, and some of them were a little bit too big. And I don't know how that happens, but you know, like that one that's right here, this one, that's a big drill. Um, and some of them were just kind of wonky shapes. And some of them had a little bit of flash. Some of them were like just shells of themselves. But again, this is all the trash there was for this entire diamond painting. So I would say that this was a very high quality kit. Um, unfortunate about the printing uh, of the, you know, like uh, unfortunate about what I think was a problem with the ink running out. Um, on the printer when they ran this one but uh other than that like all of my project all of my problems uh ran down to oh nope not ready for that yet all of my problems ran down to uh reading the canvas so i know for some of you that would 
be a deal killer. Uh, and if that's the case and that's the only reason why you wouldn't do this diamond painting, I feel sorry for you because it's such a great diamond painting and it's so worth the trouble. Okay, uh, let me zoom out just a wee bit here and it's time for a penny pick. So, except you'll notice these are quarters and nickels because I put my big project in a different bowl and... Um, I use quarters and nickels for the large project. All right, so I don't know what I'm picking because I can't see any more than you, and I'm not actually looking at my hand. Okay, I've got, I've got something here. Let's see what it is. Oh, oh, I must have written on the back. Usually I write on the queen's face. It's very disrespectful, but that's what I do. Um, okay, 163. Let's find out what 163 is. Where's that? Coin. There it is. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Let me zoom out just a little bit more. I'll be back in a minute once I identify what 163 is. Okay, so I am super excited because I've been waiting for another Crystal Drills full drill diamond painting to come up and uh, it just did. And so 163 is what I call Crystal Tropical Flowers number two because I've got a whole bunch of Crystal Tropical Flower diamond paintings. Um, and I always call, if they're crystal drills, like full crystal, I, I uh, put crystal in the title. So this one is from Laoji Yuan. It's 45 by 44 drill area. And that is the thumbnail for it. So, uh, super, super excited. And here are some of the fabulous colors that, um, that are in it. So I'm really, really looking forward to getting a start on this. And um, I might actually start on it as soon as I finish the section of uh, the one that I'm working on right now. And... Um, yeah, and then I'll start having a bunch of whips in progress and uh, and I'll show you. on uh, For my patrons, I post progress on my diamond paintings occasionally. Not, not all the time, but I post progress occasionally on Patreon. Okay, so I will be setting this aside uh, to wipe that off. Uh, with uh, hand sanitizer is what I use. Rubbing alcohol works as well. Um, Goo Gone works as well. Anyway, uh, so I'll be using uh, that quarter again. And now all we have to do is pour the trash from the snake charmer into my trash bucket. And there we go. And there is my trash. I'm going to put the light on so that the trash will hopefully sparkle. Eh, there's a little bit of sparkle, I guess. A little bit. But it's very pretty, isn't it? I think it's very pretty, which is why I keep all my trash. All right, everybody. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you come back and watch another diamond painting video with me again real soon. Uh, take care. Thank you. Bye-bye for now.